Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you the design and blueprint for final term examination mathematics paper for class 8 students. So you can see that here in the design section weightage has been assigned to learning objectives. So 20 marks are allotted to knowledge based questions. 20 marks are allotted to understanding based questions. 18 marks are assigned to application based questions. 12 marks are allotted to analysis based questions. And higher order thinking skills questions are allotted 10 marks. So total of 80 marks paper will be there. And weightage of learning objectives has been shared with you. Now, the second thing which is important is weightage as per the type of the questions. So, there are four different forms of questions. VSA, that is very short answer. That carries a weightage of 20 marks. There will be 20 questions. So, each will be one marker. Then, SA1, that is short answer type 1. So there will be six questions in this type and each question is of weightage two marks. So six into two. So total of 12 marks has been assigned to SA1 type questions. Then SA2 type that means short answer type two. Each question is of three marks. So there will be total eight such questions. So eight into three that is 24 marks has been assigned to SA2 type. Last type is long answer type. There will be six such questions. So total of 24 marks has been allotted to the long answer type questions. So you can see that now 20 plus 12 plus 24 plus 24 that is total 80 marks. And total number of questions are 21 markers, 6 2 markers, 8 3 markers, 6 4 markers. That makes total of 40 questions in the paper. Now, the third thing is scheme of the section. So there will be four sections in the paper. Section A will have 20 questions, each carrying one mark each. Then section B, six questions of two marks each. Section C, eight questions of three marks each. And in section D, six questions of four marks each. Please note that whenever you are attempting one section, do all the questions of that section at one place. Order of questions does not matter, but try to do all the questions of one section continuously at one place. Say for example, you have started with three markers. You can start with section C first or section D or section B. It's, it is your choice. But all the questions of section C, they have to come at one place. Try to use this when you are writing your answers in the examination. Now, scheme of options. This is very important because uh, in your final examination, internal choice will be given in 10 questions. So you know that there are 40 questions in all and 10 questions will be having internal choice. So that has been allotted, uh, assigned in different sections. So you know, uh, in section A, there will be one marker so two questions will be having a choice. Then in section B, in which two marks questions are there. So two questions will have the choice. Then in section C, in which you have three markers, three questions will be having the internal choice. And then in section D, in which long answer type questions are there. So three questions, in three questions you will get the internal choice. So this is regarding the choice in the questions. 
then about the difficulty level so there will be difficult questions meaning higher order thinking skills questions so 16 marks has been uh, allotted that that carries 20 percent weightage of the entire you know uh, paper so 80 marks paper is there so what is 20 percent of 80 that is 16. so 16 marks is allotted to difficult question so next is average questions so its weightage is 60 percent that means 48 marks so this is 60 percent of 80 marks so that gives us 48 similarly very simple questions that means the direct questions its weightage is 20 marks sorry uh, 20 percent so 20 percent of uh, 80 means 16 marks I hope it is clear to you. So these are the five important points related to the design of the paper. First, weightage as per the learning objectives. Second, weightage as per the form of the question. Third, scheme of sections. And then fourth, scheme of choices, that is options. And the last is weightage to the difficulty level. Now, I will be sharing with you the blueprint. It is very, very important because this uh, blueprint is going to help you when you are preparing for your examination, right? So, right from the beginning, so keep a check the weightage of marks which has been allotted to each of the chapter. So, the first, uh, uh, you know, section is this uh, number system in this number system you have three different chapters squares and uh, square roots then uh, cubes and cube roots after that exponents and radicals so these are the three chapters in this unit number system this chapter squares and square roots has a weightage of nine marks now observe carefully the marks the number which is written in this bracket this indicates the marks allotted to this chapter and the number which is outside this bracket it indicates total number of questions so it will help you in reading the blueprint so you know that there are four forms of questions vsa that is very short answer sa1 that is two markers SA2, three markers, and LA, that is long answer type, four markers. So, squares and square roots chapter has a weightage of nine marks. Total of four questions will be asked. What is the breakup? The breakup is two questions will be of one mark each. Okay. And then there is no two marker in this then one question of three marks will be asked and one question of four marks will be asked so you just keep a check from which chapter long answer type is coming so you prepare uh, the questions uh, which are there in your book like word problems and uh, higher order thinking skills questions in geometry also so just keep a check like which type of questions which questions can be asked in this long answer type now the next chapter is cubes and cube roots it has a weightage of uh, three marks only two questions will be asked one question of one mark now notice this here it is one and then a streak sign is mentioned over here it indicates that there will be a choice in this question just notice this sign wherever it is marked it indicates that there will be a choice in this particular question so in the chapter cubes and cube root one question of one mark will be asked and one question of two marks will be asked with a choice so internal choice is there in this chapter so total of two questions will be there from cubes and cube roots and the weightage is 
three marks. Now, next chapter is exponents and radicals. So exponent and radicals has a weightage of seven marks. There will be total four questions from this chapter. Two questions of one mark each, one question of two marks, and then one question with internal choice of three marks, right? Now the next section is in which the chapter direct and inverse variation is there. Now you know that uh, uh, for the final examination, three chapters of your book, they will not be assessed in the final examination. Do you know the names of those chapters? Okay, the names are uh, this uh, chapter number five, that is profit loss and discount. Then chapter number six, compound interest. And chapter number 16, rotational symmetry. So please uh, make a note that I'm writing the chapter numbers here. So chapter number five, that is uh, profit loss and discount. And then chapter number six, which is compound interest. And then chapter number 16, that is rotational symmetry. So there will be no question from these three chapters, the final examination. Okay. Now, direct and inverse variation. It has a weightage of four marks. There will be two questions from this chapter. So you can very well understand now this print blueprint. One question of one mark, no two marker, no four marker, and one question with internal choice. That is a three marker, right? Okay, now coming to the next unit, which is algebra. So in algebra, there are three chapters, algebraic identities, then polynomials, and then linear equations in one variable. So algebraic identities has given the weightage five marks. Okay, this is a very long chapter. So you need to practice, but see that only five marks is allotted to this. There will be three questions, two questions of uh, one mark each with a choice. See the star sign is mentioned over here. And then one question of three marks, no two marker and no four marker, right? Now the chapter polynomials, you see here six marks is allotted to this chapter. There will be three questions. So one long, another second long answer question will come from this chapter, polynomials. And here, there will be an internal choice also. Okay. And then there will be two questions of one mark each from the chapter polynomials. Then linear equations in one variable, no one marker is asked. And then two marker, there will be one such question with a choice. You see here again, a uh, sign is mentioned. So that means it in this question, there will be an internal choice. Then one question of three marks and then one question of four marks. So you see from this chapter, linear equations in one variable, there will be a long answer type question. So most probably word problem is there. So you have prepared the word problems. So that can be asked. So. And uh, the weightage of this uh, chapter is also nine marks. So this is a quite, quite an important chapter. So there will be total three questions. Weightage is nine marks. Now coming to the next section, which is uh, geometry. So this unit is geometry. And in geometry, very simple chapters are there. Parallel lines, understanding quadrilaterals, and construction of quadrilaterals. Three chapters are there. So parallel lines, it has a weightage of total five marks. So three questions will be asked. Two questions of one mark each, no two marker, one question of three marks with a choice. You see this symbol, and then no four marker is there. 
Then in understanding quadrilaterals, it has a good weightage, seven marks. Four questions will be asked. Two questions of two marks, or oh sorry, two questions of one mark each. And here, uh, this is having a choice. Then one question of two marks and one question of three marks, no long answer question. And in construction of quadrilaterals, there is only one question, and that is of four marks. Now, regarding this construction of quadrilaterals, if in the paper it is asked, write the steps of construction, only then write the steps. Otherwise, there is no you know, marks allotted to this, so do not waste your time. Uh, else what you have to do in this, write down what is given, what is uh, required, then do a neat construction. Then uh, if some question has been asked on the basis of construction, answer that and write down the final result. Okay, so be careful. If it is not asked, write the steps of construction. Please save your time. Okay, coming to the next unit that is uh, this uh, introduction to graphs so in this introduction to graphs chapter we will be having three questions and okay the total weightage is four marks so two questions of one mark each and one question of two marks so that makes a total of four marks so there will be total three questions so no three marker no four marker from this particular chapter. That is introduction to graphs. Next is mensuration. It has a good weightage, nine marks. And this chapter is important for your uh, class nine and 10 also. In fact, this introduction to graphs is also the base. Uh, the geometry is also, you know, connected. But in this chapter mensuration, the weightage is nine marks. Four questions will be asked. So two questions of one mark each, no two marker, one question of three marks. Again, here there is a long answer question with a choice, internal choice. So here also there is a possibility of having a word problem. Okay. Last uh, unit is this statistics and probability. The weightage is eight marks. So total of four questions will be asked. Here also you see again a question of four marks is there. So it's a long answer question with a choice. Okay, no three marker, one question of two marks and two questions of one mark each. So that makes a total of uh, 80 marks and having 40 questions. So breakup is 20 questions of one mark each then six questions of two marks each that makes a total of 12 eight questions of three marks each that gives 24 then six questions of four marks each that gives 24 so 20 plus 12 plus this uh, 20 plus 12 plus 24 plus 24 makes a total of this 80 Right, and 20 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 gives the total of 40 questions. I hope uh, this will help you in preparing for your uh, final examination. We would be sharing this blueprint with all of you and uh, uh, try to do practice from sample paper booklet, which has been shared with all of you. And please remember that... Uh, in sample papers, questions from the chapter 5, 6, and 16 have been asked. Uh, those will not be assessed in the final examination. You will be provided with another sample paper by the teacher. So as per the latest blueprint, so try to practice that. So in mathematics, keep on practicing and then you know it, it will be simpler for you. Make a plan for yourself and start preparing for your final examination all the best if you have any question you can post the comment and then i will get back to you with the reply 
Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.